Here we are with another Facebook Live. It's uh, not Facebook, <laughs> Friday Night Live. <laughs> May, uh, what are we at, 20, 26 today. I, uh, I'm lost in the dates, they just fly by so fast. 2024. And uh, yeah, days are flying by like months these days. <laughs> As the illusion of time keeps us in that realm of fiction. The only time we have is now space. And uh, we can do with it as we please, right? This is the realm of MFS. And, you know, we, uh, we look at things quite a bit differently than what the masses look at things. You know, master fast has shattered belief systems for over nine years now. It's uh, it was <laughs> it's been a pretty interesting ride to watch how the information moves out amongst the whole planet and how people change and corrupt things for profit. Very interesting. You know, in this little realm, we uh, few the few of the few are here because we're tired of the fiction world. We're tired of being lied to. We're tired of stagnation, of you know, misery, pain, and suffering. We're tired of all that. So we want to. Uh, experience things that the few of the few are experiencing, the miracles, the rejuvenation, the healing, the vitality, right? Pain-free, um, joy, happiness, bount bounty full of energy, you know? um, clear mind, we want to experience these things. The choice, as we say, is always yours. As the old say, Master Fast saying goes, eating and healing do not belong in the same sentence. Why do we keep saying that? If we look at what has been promoted out there and what is continuously being promoted out there, it's always about this food, this supplement, this herb, this drug that's going to fix all your problems. And I, uh, I used to buy into all that. And I, you know, well deep into the sciences and so on and so forth to always be vastly disappointed. You know, when I stumbled upon Arnold Eric's book, you know, a friend handed me, read this. I, it opened up a whole different horizon and uh, it took uh, many, many, many years, decades of experimentation, trial and errors and 
being sucked into the science realm, the Luciferic intellect, we call it, the realm of fiction, all man made. <laughs> it's all man made. For me, that's my opinion, my opinion only. People can believe whatever they like. People can choose to believe all the sciences, all the way jackets. That's their choice. I uh, I have a whole different view after many experiences. Are they able to, able to help people with sciences? Absolutely. Accidents. They can help people, they can save people. But when it comes to pain, misery, suffering, sickness, illness, you know, diseases, good luck. Good luck to uh, go down those paths of addition. You've seen all the marketing hype from this food is for this, this, and that. This food is for this, this, and that. This food, you know, keep seeing all the marketing. Foods are going to solve your problem. And uh, I went into those very deeply raw foods are going to solve all your problems didn't solve my problems the raw food experience is amazing and that's should be our staple eating beautiful raw ripe fruit right that should be our staple it's the easiest thing for the body process least obstructive etc cetera, etc cetera. so i did that for a decade almost and it was a very good experience. But in that time frame, as I've shared before, every season changed. I just went into that habit. My body was ready for a digestive vacation. So fasted. Right? Seven days, 10 days, 14 days, sometimes a lot longer. And I did that regularly for decades. And we continue to go down those paths of fasting lifestyle, you know. The, uh, the realm of a true fast is The, the understanding of a true fast is not understood out there for the most part until MFS came out. <laughs> the glorified dry fast, right? The glorified dry fast, the dry fasting state is the state of a true fast. Every other state is not really a fast. If you're ingesting anything but air, it's not a true fast. Will people benefit from all these other types of so-called fasts? Like fruit fasting people, you know, they'll stick on watermelons, for example, for a month or two. Call it a watermelon fast. Will people benefit? We will always benefit, always benefit, once we simplify our diet, right? Diet, all diets lead to death. And the heavier the diet, the quicker the death, the more pain, misery, and suffering. It's just the way it is. So, we simplify our diet, and what do we get? We get benefits. 
So if you look at all the different marketing things that are happening out there, I mean, which diet's the best? Because they're all the best, according to whoever's promoting it. They all have benefits. And the reason is we simplify our diets. Simple, right? We simplify our diets and the body responds. But that's going to only take us so far. And that's why in this realm, we're done playing with the treatment based mentality. We're done playing with the matter state fields, the matter state. We go into the realm of the fields, we call it, where matter is not our priority. We focus on the fields. Why do we focus on the fields? Because everything that we see in the material world, everything we see in the material world, everything is a product that comes from the fields, you know, physical body and everything that's been created by man and everything else that's been created by the divine creator. It's the realm of the fields. It comes from the, the, the fields, the field of the volition and emotion. There's the thought, the volition and emotion manifests it. And the way we go. So, you know, it's been a very interesting ride in the last nine plus years, nine and a half years now. And um, thirty, thirty, thirty five 35 years now, uh, 34 years of uh, fasting lifestyle for myself has shown me that Hi, Marco. People, the majority of people, they just want to enjoy their lives and eat whatever they want and justify. Uh, we want to we want all just justify our addictive taste buds to continue to do what we're doing. And we ignore that it has anything to do with our pain, misery, and suffering because we choose to ignore it because everybody else, hello, Diane, everybody else is doing it. So why can't we do it? Can't possibly be uh, my diet, my lifestyle. It's causing all these, it's gotta be, it's gotta be uh, some kind of um, bad luck, <laughs> right? It's gotta be some kind of bad luck to, that uh, brings on all my pain, misery, or suffering. Yeah, bad luck is every single choice we make and uh, that our you know, ancestors and our parents and grandparents make, made that you know, manifests uh, our, our physicality. And, and then, you know, uh, the years that we've been living with all our external and building our internal environments. No such thing as bad luck, exactly. <laughs> uh, darkest angel, wow. First time I see you on here, I think. Darkest angel. Read the power of subconscious mind by uh, 
Joseph. Uh, where are we here? This keeps moving. Mer Merchy? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, there's as many opinions and theories as there are people on the planet. Actually, there's a lot more than that. Some people have two, three, right? Opinions. But, um, Oh, Murphy. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I I actually stopped reading books uh, quite a few years ago. Um, I'm one for uh, uh, going with the experiences because uh, I, I read, I was a very vast reader and uh, I learned a lot and a lot of things were made up. <laughs> so when I came to the realization about water, after all those years of research and listening and the sciences about all the waters and the best quality water and this and that, I ended up discovering that we don't need any water, right? We don't need it to drink any water. So that's why we go in to the fasting states to pay attention and allow the process to manifest itself and show us the way. And um, we have to pay attention and we have to be, um, we have to keep our common sense and logic when we're paying attention. And we have to use uh, critical thinking um, to decipher, is this program coming in because they can't put thoughts in our head and they have the technology or is this you know, it's just what I'm tapping into through my throat, through my soul. And little by little, we uh, we start uh, gaining the faith and the trust and the understanding of allowing the process to take place. I uh, I wrote a book, My Experiences, Florence, Finnish Waters, VS. I have tried and learned for 55 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, uh, when we started sharing the information over nine years ago about, you know, we don't need to drink water. There's, Oh, geez, how much backlash, man. We used to talk a lot about the last my original account. Oh, okay. I, I remember faces and some names if people are interacting. Because there's just tens of thousands of people that have been through the uh, MFS website. And uh, it's pretty... Uh, uh, challenging to uh, recall every single man, woman. But anyway, that's uh, I'll tell you what I don't drink. I'll tell you what I didn't drink water. I was at my best weight and health. Yeah, if uh, but if people are eating uh, cooked food. They need to drink some water. They don't need to drink a lot, you know, a glass or two a day. You need to get some water in you because uh, all that, uh, all those obstructions need to be diluted. And that's the only reason. It has nothing to do with hydration. <laughs> if you look at uh, what somebody goes, edemia, you know, they're holding on fluids. It's just the body's so toxic that the body's holding on the extra fluids to dilute the poison. Otherwise, 
the body would be uh, the body would be in trouble. Fruit, awesome. I'm trying to remember who you are, but uh, maybe I'll see later. There's a photo or something. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, simple, simple stuff. You know, dry fast. When you eat, stick the fruit. How much more easy do we want it? The master cleanse group. Oh, this is the master fast group. Master fast system. Are you talking about the master cleanse group, another group? Intimate fast that lasts 50 pounds in the last year. That's a lot of weight. 50 pounds. So you haven't been eating fruit for a while. Okay, no, maybe I mixed up master fast, sorry. Yeah, this is a master fast system. Master cleanse is, is uh, doing the water, lemon, cayenne with maple syrup, right? That's the master cleanse that's been out for many, many, many decades. And uh, you give the body a break, a digestive break, but there's no, there's no cleaning power. Master fast system, there's second to none in cleaning power. There's just nothing out there. We've gone through tens of thousands, and uh, every single one who follow the protocol will vouch. <laughs> There's nothing like Master Fast. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I eat fruit, less water, less processed, and uh, intermittent fasting. Very good. That's what it's all about. Right? The lifestyle is the fasting lifestyle. And when we choose to eat, we want to eat the least obstructive foods, right? Just keep it simple. Um, there's nothing, nothing less obstructive uh, that we can consume than fruit for for mankind. And um, there are certain fruits like avocado. Uh, we don't recommend them. If you're living in a climate where they're actually growing and you can tolerate one once in a while, maybe not a whole one, but a little bit here and there, um, I can't even tolerate that stuff anymore. It's uh, the high fat stuff. Olives and durian is the highest fat I, 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 I go these days. And... Uh, from 70% avocado, durian is like 30, olives are around 20%. So, uh, yeah, that's what they say. They're a good fat, not to me. I get all kinds of problems from avocados. I overdid it on that, on the in the high fat days. So I don't believe in any good fat myself. There's no such thing as good fat. Uh, she never overindulged. Yeah, they're it's the most fats are the most obstructive, and they just accumulate. So if you're doing them regularly, it's just an accumulation because the body, in order to get rid of that stuff, you got to go into a fasting state. So uh, you have to fast more to get rid of what you're accumulating. So why not choose less obstructive fruits? Because the whole other kingdom is much less obstructive, right? Uh, I think uh, that's probably one of the highest fat fruits, uh, avocado. This coconut's not a fruit, it's a, it's a seed. Right? You plant the coconut, you get a tree. It's a seed. Eating is overrated. You, know, you better believe it's overrated, but we're all addicted to our taste buds, right? We are all highly addictive. And we want to justify to keep doing what we've always done because everybody else is doing it. 
And that's the way it is. So uh, never say never. That's all I say is because uh, <laughs> life happens. And, uh, you know, life turns on a dime. It's just everything changes in that instant uh, from whatever, whatever happens in our life. Uh, we, we don't know how it's going to affect our emotions. So just, uh, we, you know, like to choose our path towards peace, balance, correct conduct, which includes clean, minimal eating, and of course, fasting is the lifestyle. That's what that includes, so that we can move in the direction the and the laws of the divine in the universe is one of the same. So, yeah. But, you know, master fasting is, uh, is we have uh, a way for everyone to enjoy a form of master fasting because we have we have all the levels, we have the master fast hybrid, and all of them revolve around the fasting lifestyle. You know, the hybrid is the least form of fasting because you're only having daily dry windows, you know, and then you have your dry fasting cycle, uh, 24 hours a week, 72 hours a month, and uh, and the uh, season change dry fast right five days plus for those who are uh, been doing it a while but um man oh man uh if you're i see people out there eating highly obstructive diets and they're dry fasting what i can tell you is it's probably more detriment detrimental to our health because what does the dry fasting state do it squeezes and then we you know mass fast we want to, we're washing but if somebody's eating an obstructive diet they're squeezing all that gunk and then they're putting more gunk in and it's just being highly absorbed deep and I, I see more problems coming out of that. That's what I, from my experience, I just see more problems. And uh, it's sad, but um, people corrupt things. It's the way it is. We are uh, quite, uh, quite a unique breed of uh, being. <laughs> Divine fasting might be good for a day or two, but uh, dry fasting, sorry, may be good for a day or two. Uh, but after that, it, F with your brain. No, not if you're doing uh, master fasting. Not if you're master fasting. We are, master fasting this is the glorified dry fast. This, you know, everything revolves around dry fasting. We are preparing for the dry fast and then we support the dry fast and then we're coming out the dry fast properly everything we do is for the dry fast so dry fasting will only screw you up if you are just doing your own thing and like eating obstructive and dry fasting like i see many people doing out there it's very hard on the system very hard on the system when you do that and uh you know, you might not see the repercussions for a little while, and then, bang, you know, it all catches up. But anyway, everybody can choose whatever they like. Choice is always yours, as we say. We stick to the massive fasting lifestyle here, and that's what we support, and that's what we've been supporting for nine and a half plus years. So, um, it's very, very 
powerful purge. And um, very safe. You know, you know, unless somebody's been on some uh, the path of butchery to with the white jackets on heavy duty synthetics and uh, all that stuff, right? Then they're gonna have uh, they're gonna have a nice rough ride uh, purging that stuff out. So, yeah. Um, yes, I started, uh, I learned that when I was, went three days and I couldn't even function at all. It, it was hilarious. Three days of what? You know, people master fasting, they have more energy than they've ever had. They have the uh, the challenge people, like it was just saying, they put themselves through hell through the system. And uh, sorry, I keep interrupting my granddaughter's calling her. Enjoy your time with your grandchildren. So yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought. Mr. Crane. So yeah, um, It is what it is. We uh, we choose our paths and we uh, live by those choices. And say so lovey. Um, people master fast, and that's what I was saying. People master fast that they follow the protocol. Um, most people have way more energy than they've ever had in their whole life. The mind is clear. Yeah, we lose waste. We lose waste. Well, I don't know if people call it, they call it weight, but it's waste. Body loses waste. It, it, it purges stuff that it can't use, doesn't need, just purges it and purges it and purges it until it's left with the nothingness of the base of our physicality to rebuild, you know, and the more imbalance we have, the more weight we lose. It's just the way it is. It doesn't matter how big or how small we are. People start fasting that are already thin. And then they go to skin and bones, some of them. Not everyone, not everyone, but some of them will actually go to skin and bones. And this is very, very hard on people, on, their, on our psyche, because it, they've, not, they've not fasted, they've not learned about fast, they haven't done enough research, even though they're reading and watching videos of everybody else and seeing it, when it happens to ourselves, an actual experience, it's a whole different ball game, and then we go, whoa. <laughs> And the people get into the fear state and they listen to other people telling them what's going on with you. You're losing too much weight. You don't look good, blah, 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 blah. And all oh, the, you know, it's the same story over and over again. Uh, sorry, three days of dry fasting. I never did it again. Yeah, well, um, if you ain't master fasting, then you know, three days is not long. We do that every month. <laughs> so if you only did it once, then you're not master fasting because we're doing the daily cycle, the weekly cycle, and the monthly cycle. The monthly is every three is three days. The weekly is one day a week. I was doing three days a week for for a few years. Three days a week. Dry fasting. You know, look at my old videos. 
I did it for years. And um, things just kept getting better and better and better until life happened, right? And things changed. But um, without dry fasting, there's, there's no fast. There's, that's why we call master fast the glorified dry fast. Anyway, anybody got any questions? Um, that's what we're here for. And now's a good time. There you, go. you can ask the questions in the group. Alrighty. So uh, we'll call it a night. If there's no questions, I'll continue with uh, So you recommend dry fasting still? Absolutely. This is master fast. We put dry fasting on the map. <laughs> we we support and promote the master fasting lifestyle, which is the glorified dry fast. Right? That's what we do. Um, I guess you haven't read the protocol. It's all about dry fasting. I explained it. We we are preparing for the dry fast with Master Fast. And as we're Master Fast, we're preparing for the dry. We're supporting the dry and we're coming out of the dry properly. And we cycle that over and over and over. That's Master Fasting. And with that said, we'll have a good night. And uh, read the protocol. If you want to learn about uh, what Master Fasting is, um, people have preconceived ideas about all kinds of things out there. Uh, there's negative and positive about every single subject on the internet. Every subject, every diet, every subject, every drug, every herb is positive and negative. So you have to decipher what you want to believe. And I suggest go inwards and don't listen to the noise out there. That's all I can suggest because uh, um, a lot of caca. <laughs> With that said, okay, then uh, it's been a while since I followed. All right, no problem. All is well, so uh, we'll call it a night. We'll send Plaf to all those in dire straits desperate need out there and all to the war pig psychopath murder killers uh, they need it even more that we may penetrate their hearts so they can see what they're doing and uh, we'll see you back on the facebook page see you back on wednesday facebook live ciao